Thank you for clicking on the video. And here on Nermanek, we are going to do a very special unboxing. We have Looping Louie. This was originally published by Milton Bradley back in 1992. Now, there is a version still in print by Hasbro, and you can buy it on Amazon today if you want. But this game is rated for how old, Ender? Five plus. Five plus. And how old are you now? Five. That's right. My little boy just turned five, and this is going to be part of his birthday celebration. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to get the Avengers version as we came across it one day. And this is uh, still sealed. All right, so it'd be very cool to check out the original version of this game that has brought a lot of joy to not just kids, but adults that uh, love this game too. I have to admit, I've never played it myself, but it looks wonderful. You got this mechanized turnstile here that has Loop and Louie, and he spins around, and he can flip and do uh, loops here. And basically, you're trying to avoid him hitting your chicken out of the barn. And uh, if you lose all your chickens, you're out. And to avoid him hitting you, you have this little lever you can uh, tap on. Now, there is a beginner mode where the lever is sort of uh, long like this. You could straighten it out, and that'll be more advanced mode. You have to time your uh, hit uh, more precisely. But there is some strategy to this game where if you don't hit it the right way, uh, you can uh, maybe cause him to skip all the other uh, opponents. But if you hit him the right way, you can have him like maybe dive exactly on here and the other person won't even have a chance to deflect him. So there is a bit of strategy out here to this game and we'll see how it all plays out. So it's looping, it's looping, swooping, flipping, flopping fun. Ready to check it out, Ender? Yeah. yeah. Let's get this box open. So let, can you give me the box cutter there, buddy? What box cutter? That one, yep, yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's make a little snip here. Okay, we got some tape here that's unraveling already. And let's see if we can get this open. And check out the components here. underneath oh, some strand of paper or something. All right. Oh, it looks like there's some stickers to be applied. What help pull it? Okay. All right. Okay. So let me set it on the ground and maybe get a top angle on this. So right off the bat, looks like we got a large sheet of stickers. It's, that's not my uh, favorite thing to have in games because they always could peel off or uh, get damaged, but it is what it is. I always prefer if the image is actually printed on the um, plastic, for example, but I suppose it makes it a lot cheaper for production. We'll set this sheet off to the side. Look at this wonderful colors here, Ender. Okay, and we got some plastic uh, levers. I think this is what makes up the barn. We're gonna have to apply the stickers everywhere here. We've got a bag of tokens. I think these represent the chickens. We're gonna put stickers on all of these uh, tokens. I think this is a central platform. And this are the obvious levers that uh, get knocked up. So, Let's see, it's all taped up. And here's the rotating base. I'm not sure what kind of batteries it requires. Let's uh, take a look at that first. And there should be a set of instructions somewhere. Hmm. It's underneath something. This is not gonna come out easily. I don't wanna damage the insert. I might cut off the tape here. Maybe we should do that. Oh, this tape is already peeling off. All right, so this one is not too bad to come out. All right, I got the scissors here. We'll just cut this flap off. All right, so we have our bag of blue tokens. All right, so that comes out easy. You can open that up and check it out. And then maybe we try to get Looping Louie out next. It looks like he's just taped up in a bag. See if I could get them out here. Oh, 
There's too many. Yeah, there's too many. Maybe you want to count how many there are? Yeah. And how many fishes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen? Uh -huh. mm, that sounds like an odd number. Should be an even number. Why don't we count them again? Maybe there are 13. One's uh, just an extra. Here we go. Wanna count them again? These guys wedged eight, in here nine, somehow. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I got them out. Okay, 13. Mm -hmm. That's probably correct. Uh, we will compare it to a list of components in a bit. You know, maybe it's on the back of the box. Can you grab me the big box? Okay. So, no, there's no list of components here on the back. Oh, it looks like we missed something in here. Here is the instruction sheet. This is what we're looking for, how to apply and where to apply the labels. And you can see it is for two to four players. Object, be the only player left with one or more tokens, the chicken tokens. So you said we have 13 tokens? It says there's only 12, so it looks like we got a bonus one. No, two. It's pretty good. We got a bonus one. Insert the battery. It looks like we need a C battery, which I have right here. So we got a C battery ready to uh, apply to the device. Attach the plane to the cone. Attach the paddles. Game setup. And it's going to look like this. On the back side. Going to tell us how to play and take off and how to paddle. So we'll do a how to play portion uh, later on after this unboxing. So let's uh, get Loopy Louie out of this bag here. Hmm. This bag is all taped up, but it looks like it's come off pretty easily here. The tape and it looks like his. Uh, the wheels were coming out of the bag on purpose to fit into this uh, crevice. But here's Looping Louie. Very simple paint job, not too elaborate. And I guess he attaches to the crane that spins around right here. So we'll have to set him off this side along with the protective bag. Not sure how we're gonna put this game all back in the box here. Now this got to come out here. Let's see. Let me get the box cutter here and make a snip or a cut on this tape on the side now here. Now there's, now there's 12. Now there's 12? Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe you didn't count them correctly. No, Wait, let's see. One there's a group of four, group of four, group of four. Yeah, the, there are 13. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We have the, that's a bonus one, so that's good that we have an extra just in case we lose one. This doesn't look easy to preserve. All right, let's make another snip here. Looks like we got one piece finally out. <laughs> All right, so here's where you tap. And here is where you turn it. Oh, you turn it in, not out. There you go. That's advanced okay. mode. No, get me. Okay, be careful. I don't want you to break it already. I know you're a pretty rough and tough little boy. Let's get another one. Okay, so we got the green one out. If you play Ender, what color would you like to be? Purple. Purple? Mm -hmm. I think you're just saying that because your sister's favorite yeah, color is purple. Here is the red one out. Mm -hmm. Open this out. Wow. That so yeah, that one. That was a tough one to get out. Okay. Yeah. Now here is the crane. Right, that's a little bit easier. I can lift it up that way. Check. Pop right out. There we go. I got the crane. Oh, feels really heavy and chunky. Yeah. Can I try? Uh, yeah, you can hold it. And the base. But isn't it too heavy? Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm not even sure how they got it all in this box, but uh, 
Finally got it all out. So this uh, cardboard piece, I, I want to retain it. What about the sticker? Yeah, we'll have to do that a little bit later. That's always a little bit nervous, putting on the stickers. Let's see if this actually still works. You know what we have to do is get a screwdriver. Here's the screwdriver. And let's see. Oh, here is the battery case. Get this open. Just make sure this even works. All right, so yeah, looks like C battery size. Got it right here. And before we close it up, let's just make sure it can actually turn on. Let's see what we push. Oh, it's a switch here, I guess. Yep, spinning. All right, so we'll switch it off. And it looks like this lever just uh, flips a switch uh, there at the bottom. So not too complicated of a device. There we go. Don't want to make it too tight. Try one more time, right, Emma? Okay, definitely works. Okay, so we're gonna put this we're off the side, the and I think what we're gonna do next is get stickers on all of these things. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of them here. Whoa! All right, so let's see. Let's start off with, uh, how about the center piece okay. here? All right, let's, this this one here, we gotta put stickers on here. It looks like there's a big round target there. Yeah, this one here. We're gonna have to put this big circle one right over there, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's peel this off. Uh-oh, I always hate to do this. I got one sticker here. I do want to be able to fix it perfectly if I can. Oh no! That was bad. Too bad. Looking good, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll flip to the other side. Let's do the other side now. Get another target sticker off. to do those in a bit. Uh, okay, I think that is good enough. Now we have to get a sticker on the cone itself. And it looks like it would be this one here. See, does it matter which way? I guess not. This is a little bit gonna be a little bit more difficult. I don't know where the center will be specifically. I think I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I was a kid. Uh, I know my application of the stickers would be very haphazard. Though I remember growing up with uh, Transformers, I certainly was very careful to apply Daddy. those stickers in the right place. Daddy, the <laughs> yeah. So this one, let's we'll see if we get it just right. But 
At least that one's done. How about these stickers? Oh boy, yeah, it's a lot of stickers. All right, so this one looks like you need a picture of the this barn. Mm, I'm not sure yet. Well, this is the one with the barn. This is the Loopy Loopy Paddle. Oh, I think it might be this thing. You know, let's take a look at the picture on the box. Yeah. So here, this is what it should look like. So yeah, we want to put this Loopy Loopy on the paddle. So this one goes here. Do all the other Looping Lou mm -hmm. logos. Dad, I want how cute. I know you do, but I'm gonna do this for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. The yellow one's done. The green one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and got the red one next. Okay, this one. <laughs> Probably the first one here, the purple one. Okay, so these paddles are now done. Uh -huh. We gotta do these uh, base arms. These are gonna have even bigger stickers with a barn. So here is a huge barn sheet. to yeah. apply all these stickers. All these shaking stickers. It really bugs the perfectionist in me. Yeah. I think this will work right. Yep. Almost done. And we gotta do the other side of these with another barn sticker. The smaller barn sticker here. And let's start with this one down. I don't know. Will that be green? No, be yellow. Okay, that could be yellow. Okay. That's one we have done. Got another mm -hmm. one. I guess we have to do Looping Louie, and then we got the chicken tokens. So let's make Loop and Louie look cooler. It's gonna look very sweet with the American flag design all over him. And even better yet, maybe it'll look better with the eyes, right? Okay, well we don't want him to have crooked eyes, let's uh, Hopefully he could get out his eyes just right. Oh my god, this is so nervous. If you don't do it right, he's just gonna look strange. Let's 
Uh -oh. Yeah, it's real hard to get it in the hole there just right. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it in there. Let me do it. Thank you. Get another eyeball out. He has a slightly angry look to it. Well, you want to match the other one. Eyes are the most important. What about the chickens? The chickens are important too. I think that looks pretty good, so let's fix it. All right, maybe it's slightly more angry on one side than on the other. And what does this go? This, oh, this is the tire. So you took out a sticker from the tire. So that would go here. Okay, so this goes here. It's not too bad, it's just a little black circle, but we still wanna make it look good. Oh, it's so sticky and stuck in my finger. I did it. Mm -hmm. We'll get a, another tire off. We need, we need to put on the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know. And there's so many chickens. How are we going to do that? Okay, here's another tire on. Okay, let's uh, put on the propeller, the nose label. You know, you gotta poke a hole out of the middle. Let's see, how are you gonna do that out of the sticker? There we go. All right. There's a little blue extra sticker you could play with. Boink. I'm gonna take this propeller. Put it on the farm. Mm, no, don't put it on the toy. Because then we won't be able to take it off. We'll make it a little bit like that. Can I put it back on the sheet? Mm, you try. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's going to look good. <laughs> I need it. Uh, I need labels it. for the wings. Look at me. Let's see. Hold on. Let me uh, try to get this wing sticker on. And let's see which way it goes. It looks like the stars are in the front. Let me just confirm with the box. Ender, can you give me the box? The box again, please. Mm -hmm. box? Yeah, give me the box, please. Let's look at the picture of the toy itself. Daddy. Yeah, the wings are put in the front. On. Okay. So this is going to be a little hard to fit here. Well, there's two different wings. This one probably goes on this side here, on this side. All right, this one has a little thing there. A notch. So this sticker should have a notch too. It doesn't look like it. I'm sure it's cut out to oh yep. That's a nice representative notch there.
another sticker here. This one doesn't look quite right. I don't know if I can. Yeah. All right, got this on the tail. And one more. All right, so that is Looping Louie all completed. And I think I messed up here on the tail a little bit, but at least the eyes look all right, acceptable. And now to do all these little chicken tokens. Yeah. Oh boy. Can I guess, yeah, I guess you could try to do these chicken tokens, but let me see. All right, let's just do Take one. On yeah, let me let me do one first. Okay, let's just see which way we're gonna do it. Yes, so the... me. All right, so let me just try to get one of these on first. Okay, and let's just try to see how this. And I guess they are all the same, so it doesn't matter. I thought maybe one chicken's sitting, another one's flying, but no, nope, they look the same. Okay, just sure want to have it be the uh, same on the other side. Let's uh, see if we can orient this the right way. All right, so one chicken token done. <laughs> 11 more to go. All right, working on my last token. I got a whole bunch here. So, oh, under, don't, don't turn off. Yeah. All right, I'm working on my last token here and I have a whole bunch already completed. And I want all the chickens to face the top side. And, and uh, so when you flip it, they look the same uh, on the barn. So I'm using this little groove as an orientation and you can sort of see a mark there too. So that will represent the head of the chicken and sort of just kind of place it like so approximately. And we'll do the flip side of the chicken token and use that groove to represent the head. That makes it easy to orient all the other tokens. So when they sit on the barn, they're gonna look the same, not upside down. So they will be resting like so. You wanna see the chicken popping out. <laughs> yeah. All right, now to assemble this thing. Let's get the space. And let's see here. This is gonna to have to flip in. Mm, let's see, I guess this goes so. Oh, yep, clicks in. And this one will click in as well. It uh, goes on top, and you can push down gently. And then see that last one, please? Hey, that's mine. And this one is going to click in as well. All right, so this pad is going to click in this way, I suppose. Wait, that's my color. Okay. That's enough. Before I break something, let me see how this works. Let's see. It goes straight down. It looks like straight down. So let's try it straight down. This piece wedges out. Oh, all right. Let this click in a little bit loose. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this blue one in here. And can you give me the red one, please, Ender? The red one, please. Okay, so now we gotta put the cream. It Eat looks a like a sprocket here. Eat a yep. I guess that's it. This paper thing will come off. Let's attach it with Louie. So this can go either way and he can spin any way too. Okay, got him in. All right, so let's see. All right, now we can turn him on. You wanna turn him on? So let's uh, get the camera out a little bit here. There we go. Now try practice hitting him with the, the thing. Well, see how he jumps up in there? Try it again. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, flip these all sideways. So you get a little bit easier with this, I uh, wish. Okay. Easy mode for now. Okay, can you hit him? There you go. Whoa. Wait. A little sooner. There you go. Woo. All right, so ready to set up a game? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, ready to play a game in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so I am gonna turn on and okay. see if it knock out the chickens. Okay. Oh, you they knocked your own chicken into you. It's so rough. Oh, he, he, good job. He, okay, I think I'm going to hit my chicken. There you go. He might hit your chicken. Ooh. It's not going low enough to hit your chicken. Oh no, he's back to me. Oh no, he knocked my own chicken. Yeah. It's a tie game. Oh, oh, you hit it. And, oh, <laughs> that's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, you know, when you hit that, your chicken just fell down and then he hit mine. So I think you won because your chicken just fell down uh, by itself. I don't know if that uh, happens in most games, or it's just because this uh, game is older, it's, I guess it's uh, three decades old. I wonder if that happens with the newer version as well. Yeah. And if someone has a newer version, please let us know if it has all these stickers or these things are pre-applied. I would love to know that. So you want to try that again? Mm -hmm. Or let's set it up. So put your chickens back in the barn. Okay, and here's a bonus chicken. Okay. And when you hit it, maybe you don't hit it so hard, maybe we hold on to this, so it doesn't rattle your barn. So hold on to here, yeah, and so it doesn't move the barn, okay? We'll try it that way. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me set it this way, and, okay. and turn it on. Okay. He's gonna fall down soon. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh yeah, he's gonna fall down. Oh no, oh he got one of my chickens. Oh, you hit your chicken for sure. No, no, my chicken. Oh, I hope he doesn't knock another one of my chickens over. Boom. Boom. Oh, almost got your chicken. Oh, good hit, good hit. Oh, this might be a long game. I think I gotta hit it a little harder. Oh, that's too hard. Oh, he, he got your chicken. I wanna just be gentle. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he knocked your chicken, okay. All right, so that's pretty cool. You know what we could do? 
is grab your sister and mom and we can have a four player game. Yeah, like, yeah sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got the whole Nermimic family here. We're gonna do a four play game of Looping Louie. My little boy's a little upset since you lost the last round, but we'll give it a try. You are brave, right, Ender? Okay, great. Let's get this started. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's go. Silly game. I guess the main complaint about this game, besides the stickers, is that these chickens fall very easily when you wrap the whole thing, right? I mean, you can just shake it a little bit and it just falls right in. Yeah, you're not even having anything hit your chickens, it's just rattling. So that is a, a little flaw. I don't know if it's because of the age of the game and things are a little bit No, it's because, it's because of this slider. Yes, that is right. Can you all right, Emma, what do you think about this game? I like it. It is pretty cool. It has been our unboxing, a very lengthy unboxing, <laughs> with me nervously applying some stickers of Looping Louie, the original Milton Bradley version that came out in 1992. So once again, this game is readily available on Amazon right now, published by Hasbro. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great time. Keep on adventuring out there.